orbit beyond the blue. It's on sitting on top of a sleeping giant. Now, if you're sleeping next to an 800-pound gorilla, you monitor every burp, every snore of this gigantic gorilla because when it blows, it could destroy the United States as we know it. Social media outlets have been abuzz in the past few weeks with claims that the supervolcano Yellowstone will erupt and hundreds of thousands will die. The Yellowstone National Park, which houses the Yellowstone volcano, has been affected by plenty of catastrophes in recent times. The massive national park was recently shut down after major flooding which severely damaged infrastructure and roads within the park. More than 10,000 visitors were forced to evacuate, although no injuries or deaths were reported at this time. This is the first time all entrances into Yellowstone have been closed in 34 years, ever since a series of massive wildfires in 1988. Yellowstone National Park spans over 3,400 square miles in the northwestern United States in three different states Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. However, most of the park sits in the northwestern corner of Wyoming, east of Idaho, and south of Montana. The park has a diverse array of wildlife and natural features, but is particularly known for the Yellowstone caldera, also referred to as the Yellowstone supervolcano. Yellowstone is one of the world's biggest volcanic systems. Although considered dormant at the moment, it sits above one of Earth's hotspots, areas in the mantle where hot plumes rise and form volcanoes on the crust above. It has produced three caldera forming eruptions in the past three million years. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption, 2.1 million years ago. The Mesa Falls eruption, 1.3 million years ago. And the Lava Creek eruption, 631,000 years ago, which was the last super eruption at Yellowstone Volcano. The Huckleberry Ridge Tuff and Lava Creek events are considered super eruptions of supervolcanoes. Lava Creek eruption was responsible for the formation of the Yellowstone Caldera, which is located at Yellowstone National Park. New research suggests it was a series of eruptions or multiple vents spewing volcanic material in rapid succession, instead of isolated events. While geologists believe Yellowstone volcano is not expected to erupt anytime soon, the finding that the Lava Creek eruption may have followed a similar pattern to that of the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff eruption could give an idea of what to expect if and when Yellowstone does blow up and prevent damage. While Yellowstone seems to be safe as of right now, effects of another supervolcano that erupted recently are still being felt. This volcano even exceeded our maximum expectations about how far the effects of this eruption was on the sea floor. It really was an absolutely outstanding event. This image taken by an astronaut from the International Space Station shows the ash plume from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Heiapai volcanic eruption. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Heiapai is a submarine volcano, a large, cone-shaped mountain located near the 169 islands of the Kingdom of Tonga in the South Pacific, that erupted with a violent explosion. The outburst generated the highest ever recorded volcanic plume, one reaching 35 miles tall and triggered tsunami as far away as the Caribbean. All in all, the eruption was the most powerful natural explosion in more than a century, one that rivals the strength of the largest US nuclear bomb. Picture that. A tsunami up to 20 meters high killed at least for people in nearby Tonga, with the South Pacific island nation also blanketed in a thick layer of ash. Further effects were felt all along the Pacific Rim, with another two people killed by waves as far away as Peru. The blast was even detected by seismometers 18,000 kilometers away. Yes, the eruption was so explosive that there's reports of people in New Zealand and Australia hearing and feeling the preliminary effects of the event, which sounded like thunderclaps. 
The explosion was so strong that it injected water vapor high enough to touch space. A first of its kind observation for an earthly volcano. And the event produced the greatest concentration of lightning ever detected. The huge amount of water vapor hold into the atmosphere, as detected by NASA's microwave limb sounder, reveals it could end up temporarily warming Earth's surface. We've never seen anything like it, said Luis Millan, an atmospheric scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. New studies now reveal shocking details that it even disrupted satellite communication over affected regions. The eruption sent a tsunami racing around the world and set off a sonic boom that circled the globe twice. The underwater eruption in the South Pacific Ocean also blasted an enormous plume of water vapor into Earth's stratosphere, enough to fill more than 58,000 Olympus-sized swimming pools. The sheer amount of water vapor could be enough to temporarily affect Earth's global average temperature. Volcanic eruptions rarely inject much water into the stratosphere. In the 18 years that NASA has been taking measurements, only two other eruptions, the 2008 Kasatoki event in Alaska and the 2015 Calbuco eruption in Chile, sent appreciable amounts of water vapor to such high altitudes. But those were mere blips compared to the Tonga event and the water vapor from both previous eruptions dissipated quickly. The excess water vapor injected by the Tonga volcano, on the other hand, could remain in the stratosphere for several years. Previous research had found that the fluctuations in air pressure from the eruption were powerful enough to disturb one of the highest layers of Earth's atmosphere, the ionosphere. Scientists had long speculated that volcanic activity could disrupt the ionosphere. In the equatorial areas of the ionosphere, holes can form that can disrupt satellite communications and GPS signals. Researchers had long wondered if volcanic eruptions and other events on Earth could generate these so-called equatorial plasma bubbles. And studies have now confirmed that they were right. Although researchers cannot prevent the severe effects on satellite communications these bubbles may cause, they will now be able to alert operators of airplanes and ships that are expected to pass through the affected regions in the future. There are about 1,350 potentially active volcanoes worldwide, aside from the continuous belts of volcanoes on the ocean floor at spreading centers like the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. About 500 of those 1,350 volcanoes have erupted in historical time. Overall, 49 volcanoes were in continuing eruption status in this year, as of April 14, 2023. Europe's most active volcano, Mount Etna, is the latest. It erupted on May 21, 2023, forcing flights from eastern Sicily's largest city, Catania, to be grounded due to a lack of visibility. Titania was hit hard by the falling ash following the eruption, according to reports. Thankfully, no injuries were reported amid scrutinous monitoring by the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Italy, which recorded evidence of an increase in tremor activity in recent days. Only time will tell what other catastrophic events are in store for us this year. But what do I know? Orbit Beyond the Blue